Hey everybody, I am on for the midweek message reveal for Wednesday, October 5th. Um, so let's jump right in. How's everyone doing? How are you feeling? Um, we've moved into Libra season, as I mentioned before. We have uh, on the 8th, Pluto is moving from its retrograde state to go direct. So that is kind of like a closure here of like spiritual transformations that have happened. If you feel like you've shed something and you've kind of moved into a different space or something has kind of lightened a bit, you can imagine that sort of portal closing where you've kind of sloughed off the things that are not serving you and they've kind of dissipated. Um, so that lightness and also with uh, Mercury moving direct from retrograde, as it's as it's been for a hot minute we are a little bit in the shadow period so it'll still be another like week and a half ish but know that things are starting to lighten that doesn't mean that you aren't gonna have weird snafus and think like oh man why is my printer jacking up or my phone's all messed up or i can't get through or people just aren't understanding me breathe breathe okay the other part on october 9th we have a full moon in aries this is going to be volatile. This is going to be something that's going to kind of spark some stuff. It's going to bring some shit up and it's stuff that you need to deal with. And it's stuff that is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel like, oh man, this is going to be terrible. It's more like a, Hey, have a heads up about stuff that's coming up. You might feel kind of emotional and you might feel like this emotion is something that is going to, I don't know, like you're not able to control it, which might cause you to feel a little disassociated or a little detached. Be aware of that. Also be aware that how you feel, is something that you can, you know, you can, you can control to a degree as far as how you react, but pay attention to the fact that other people are also feeling these things too. So eh, you know how it goes. All right. So this week I have double cards. So I pulled a self-care card along with your regular cards because I feel like there needs to be a bit more of a focus on taking care of the self. Um, I feel like everyone's a little bit wired in a like, I can't handle it fumes kind of way. So let's bring it back down to basics. All right, so jumping into the first card, group one. Group one, if you chose one, you chose dark matter. Come on there, mystery. So this is a 38, which is an 11, which is a master builder number. Lots happening in manifestation here, guys. So one, you really have an opportunity to create and this creation, look at all of this, this transformational energy and butterflies that are coming from her chest, from her, from her heart center. And there's a lot of expansion here. Also, there's a experience almost with a void space. It's not, there we go. Um, behind her, almost like a black hole. So that you feel like you're kind of being sucked into a vacuum. Dark matter is this thing in the universe that is difficult to explain. It is a transformational space. So in kind, that would be the space that you're in one. What's happening here is you are learning how to internalize and validate yourself. This is something that you don't need other people to do. Really drawn here to the blue butterfly over the mouth, blue connecting to the throat chakra. She's very aware of what's happening. She's letting things move through her, but it's all about trust. So if you're feeling a little bit wonky, feeling like you, like you want to do things different, you've been working on yourself. I can really feel that with one. You've been trying really hard and your efforts, you feel like you're efforting and you're not really getting anywhere. Lean a little bit back on yourself and give yourself a break. You've been doing a lot of work and this is stuff that takes time. Like, you're not just going to become a butterfly. You have to go through the goo stage. And while I know you've been in the goo stage for a hot minute, um, think of this more as like the crusty. You're kind of crusting. The chrysalis is sloughing off. Allow yourself to think about what you want to do with your butterfly wings when you're out of the other side of this, which is coming soon. Okay, so... Oh, bananas. There you <laughs> Graceful. All right, so your self-care card one is massage. This is important because touch is something that you are needing. You might find that you are not giving yourself or getting like a hug. Like you need the, you need the hormones that are released, the dopamine, the things that are released through a hug, through uh, even a high five, a fist bump, um, 
feeling something soft on your skin, feeling weight, even feeling like a heavy weight, um, weighted blanket, um, you know, get a dog, put it on you, <laughs> get a cat, put it on your head. <laughs> Give yourself a sense of, of, of spatial awareness in your body. Now, massage is something that would be great if you could have someone massage you. Awesome. But if you're not in that position, self-massage is awesome. Um, take some time to do some stretching. Allow yourself to get back into the body because there's a lot that's happening in the astral. You might be experiencing this through sleep. You might wake up and feel really sore. You might wake up and feel... Um, feel like you've been like you didn't really sleep at all and that's something that's happening with the transformation that's happening at this time so relax it's gonna be okay don't worry stay the course know though that what you are bringing into your reality is are the things that you need so trust yourself and your ability to discern um even though lately it may seem like you're not able to do that like you've tried and it just didn't seem to go well it's it's kind of a test of will so allow yourself more space give yourself a break brush yourself off you got this all right two these cards are beautiful If you chose two, group two, you are choosing depth in the lake. This is a 31, which is a four. Four is showing that you are surrounded and divinely guided by angels, by the by spirit, your higher self, very much in tune with what's happening. And while the world seems to be moving on, you are finding yourself in almost like a subterranean space where you're really in your feels, might be um, experiencing reoccurring dreams or deja vu might be coming up for you. I'm really feeling that there's a lot happening in the jaw and the throat here um, that's moving with two and that there's a sense and a want for an emotional release. And that emotional release is something you've been blocking. So stop it. Let yourself feel the things that you need to feel. Look at the body, the way that her body is. She's tucked in a fetal position up into her chest, but her hands are free and outright. She is plummeted, assuming that she came straight down this way. Very aware of what's happening. This is an exploration of the self, and this exploration of the self is not something that you should fear. It's something that you should see as like a cool, cool, like literally feeling that coldness um, in a refreshing sort of sense. You have a lot of movement here that's happening. I'm actually feeling that in through the throat that's actually moving down the body and into the feet. I'm really feeling a lot in the feet too. Um, so if you feel like you're doing a lot of movement or fidgeting or you're feeling um, anxious, a little bit anxious, it's because there is a want for physical movement to go along with the emotional release that wants to come through. So you can do this through shower meditation. You can do this through taking a bath. You can um, go out and ground and put your feet on the ground. Um, you can, I don't know, if there's, if there's music that moves you, if there's, um, if there's like a show that you like to watch that kind of gets you in a place where you feel nostalgic or you feel a little, oh, lean into that because that's going to be the thing that's going to allow this to happen. That's going to allow you to go a little bit deeper. Um, and again, maybe feeling a bit nostalgic at this time. Your self-care card for two is dance. Let the movement happen. Not surprised that the feet are something that's a bit of a focus here. Um, I'm really drawn to the way in which her arms are held up over her head. There's a carefreeness here. And everyone has their eyes closed. And they have like this pensive sort of sweet smile on their face. Allow yourself to enjoy the movement that you are craving. So you may be wanting to dance around the kitchen. You may be wanting to go and do something outside. Um, I'm feeling like that would be restorative here for two. Also, um, would allow you to kind of do some more stretching. I feel like everyone needs some stretching that's happening here. There's a lot of tension in the body that's trying to move through. And with the full moon in Aries, that's going to kind of kick things off. So be aware of that coming online. Um, if you're feeling tense, move. Listen to your body. Your body is, is another tool and it, it loves you. It cares for you. It is you. 
All right, moving on to three. Beauty. Okay, if you chose three, your card is moon, which is a seven. The card says darkness. I see this darkness, though, as restorative. This um, With seven, we're looking at intuition, luck, um, guidance on your spiritual path, feeling a sense of, of knowing who you are. There's a there's a sense of autonomy that's coming online here with the, with the moon card for three. There's a sense of, I'm hearing righting the wrongs, letting things go, non-reactive. So moving into a state of calm is happening here for three. And this calmness is allowing you to get into a space where you actually are, are connecting a bit more to the heart space, connecting more to your own compassion for yourself and giving yourself a sense of, of care. And this care is something where you're prioritizing yourself. Um, this is something you're not used to doing. This is something that kind of gets pushed by the wayside here. And what you're recognizing and understanding now is that you have the ability to really create the love that you want. The love, whether that is in relationship, whether that is in a, a passion for a career or something that you want to bring into the world, something that you want to create with your hands or through art or through song, or um, there's just a lot of creativity that comes along with this card. But the difficulty that, that seems to kind of come in is that there you don't know what's going to happen next. And the not knowing is the thing that's kind of holding you back. So pay attention here to the, just in the word darkness, but the fact that her eyes are covered, she is illuminated and behind. There is a sense of understanding that is through the, through the self, that the self knows, the higher self knows, the big you, big, uh, the one playing the game, you, is the one who knows what's up. You just have to trust. And trust is difficult. It takes practice. Allow yourself space. Give yourself compassion while you're learning how to do these things. You're human. You're not perfect. No one's perfect. Nothing's perfect. Your self-care card three is clear your energy field. Smudging is great. I also think too, I'm working with some affirmations here, asking that you are on the highest path, that the choices that you make bring you ease, that the, the energy that's around you is light, that it gives you, um, that it nurtures you, that it, that it supports you, that your interactions with others are divinely guided or are supported, that you feel a sense of safety. And clearing your en energy field you can do in lots of ways. You could use a smudge stick with sage or palo santo. You could, um, you could create... Um, a tincture with with water and um, essential oils. You could use sound like a crystal bowl, or you could actually make noise yourself and chant and, and imagine that kind of shedding away from you and giving yourself a sense of a sense of um, a peace within the center of it. Visualize yourself in a bubble of of white light and allow everything that's outside of that bubble to be um, to be cast off to be. Um, to reflect anything that isn't of your, for your highest path, for your highest good. Okay. And if you're looking for more uh, than that, and you are wanting something to help, um, I'm the person to ask if you're looking for a session on light language, which is great for clearing your energy field. You can check my link. Okay. So that being said, I hope everyone enjoyed the messages this week. Please let me know how this landed for you. I appreciate your support. I love hearing every week how things go. Um, if you'd like to work with me, please check my link and I will check y'all next week. Have a good one. Keep your chin up. Don't sweat the small stuff. That's another idiom I can throw in there. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Peace. Bye.